high of nine today. Oh boy, <laughs> it'll be. Oh, I guess. This is one I don't like going to, honestly. Yeah, because <laughs> you're outside be and wet. Oh, if you're at the other lawn chair. I'll pull it out today. Please. At least you've got one. You got something to sit on that's dry. Just doesn't have arms. Yeah. Where's our heat? There it is. Oh. Nice having a car with heat. <laughs> I think you'll have fun today. It's a Monday. Lots of tests. Lots of... Yeah. Yeah, fun. It's cool. I'm not excited for today. Okay. Thanks for the ride. Get out. Love ya. Love you too. Have a great day. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. There goes the little one. Off to school. Now oh, there's the track again. So my plans today are uh, work on that trailer. And uh, one of the things I need to do, or need to get, before I work on that trailer is a saw blade. So let's go get a new saw blade. I haven't uh, heard back from anybody about uh, sharpening. I might today. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know if you can see up there. <coughs> That's a snow plow. Ugh. It's, it's <laughs> October the 19th and there's a snow plow driving around London. There hasn't any snow. It's six degrees Celsius. Ah, jeez. Why do they have to ruin our days already? Can't tell if it's a city snowflower or not. I don't think it is. Oh, it's Ferrari. <laughs> uh, they're local. Uh, concrete um, contractor. So if, you, if you need curbs or sidewalks or uh, a foundation, you can talk to those guys. They must have got into the snow plowing gig now. So it looks like they've diversified their uh, portfolio because they only typically work in the uh, construction months where it's not freezing too much it's concrete it's a little uh, you don't want to pour it when it's minus 20 without a lot of without keeping it warm while it cures so I'm probably just keeping the guys employed uh, here, here's a shovel <laughs> have at it go knock on doors so that's probably what they've done is bought an old sander and they're going to uh, do some plowing and sanding and stuff this winter to keep the guys busy. Makes it so that uh, you still have your guys in the spring. So if you lay them off, they might find something else to do. So, I uh, just stopped at Princess Auto. I grabbed uh, two saw blades. They've got a two pack on sale. So, uh, hey, why not? two saw blades for the less than the price of one at the hardware store. They will work fine for what I'm doing. I don't do so much fine cutting anymore, so some rough ones. I got a 28 and a 40 tooth blades. That's what the fenders look like. It's not bolted down properly. I'm gonna put uh, fender washers on here. I just, I forgot to get fender washers. And my bolts are a little too long. There. It's 
stick out a little much. So we'll get some shorter ones. Huh, but, uh, I'm just gonna put the boards on. I've gone around and I've marked all the spots where these go across. I'll drill some holes, put the boards down. Off to the hardware store. I, uh, I brought the wrong driver bit set. I, I did bring one of the correct drivers, but, or bits, but it's, uh, yeah, it's broken now. It wasn't a very good one. It's one of those ones that'll get you out of a jam when you need it, but uh, don't expect it to keep working real well. So, that's where we're at. While I'm at the hardware store, I'm going to pick up some fender washers for the fenders. And also some fender washers for the inside the box. It's working out. It's wet and it's cold. Beautiful. Ta-da! I've got all these screws in it. That'll work nicely. Now I'm going to uh, tackle the fenders here. Get those put on. So here's the, the real test. I'm going to be putting my fender washers on my fenders and oh nuts on the inside I hope these are warm don't tell me oh just just long enough Going easier than I expected. Huh. Let's get that other side bolted on. That's going to be just perfect. That looks even enough. A little picture of that for the scrapbook. So this, uh, this side's going on pretty easily as well. There we go. Ta-da! We got fenders, we got boards. Now I've just got to beef up the uh, 
the side boards a little bit and I'm just going to put boards on the outside and we're good to go. But I can't do that today because I can't paint them today. I want to get them painted as I'm doing it. So these sideboards, the stakes I guess, one will go there, one will go in the center, one will go on the other end. So be here, there by the tire, and at the other end. I ripped my boards, so I've got the right uh, pieces for here, but I haven't cut them to, to size yet. I didn't bring a skill saw. <laughs> and uh, the skill saw I've got here is, uh, well, it's, it's in the garbage. I guess tools wear out. Who knew? My skill saw has, well, it's had a hard life. That one. They all have a hard life. Crazy stuff I do them. So throughout this I've been trying to figure out where to put the plate because the the back comes off, the sides come off. So I'm going to bolt it along the back of the frame here. It'll be down low and it'll get bent, but oh well, at least it'll be on. Doesn't that look good? Another coat of paint on there. Coat of paint on the bed. Well, actually everything. And we're done. Installed the jack. Gotta figure out where to put the t spare tire. I think I'm probably gonna mount it on the side. Maybe towards the back, who knows? Front, back. I'd like to have a little toolbox thing like this too, but can't do it on the front because the front folds down. Um, yeah, got some more figuring to do. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's building your trailer. Glad I got those boards on. Just got to do this, the boards for the sides, the stakes, and then one more coat of paint for everything. We're good to go. The jack's on, it works nicely. I can even fold down the front with the jack on, with the jack up or down. Uh, I can't change the jack, move it up or down with the front folded, but it's, uh, it's, it's good where it is. I wonder if I could have put that ahead further. That doesn't matter. It'll be fine where it is. Yeah, so I've got to figure out what to do with the spare tire, where to mount it, and what to do for a little toolbox to keep the straps and rope and such in. just uh, build one quick out of plywood. Yeah, I could do it out of plywood really easy. Bolt that to the side. Done. So I'm back home. Still got coffee left. May as well drink it. Ah, so it went pretty well today, other than the rain, but I got a little wet. Oh well. Not so wet that I'm still wet. Oh, maybe I am still wet. My back. From bedding over. In the, working on the trailer. I got my wood cut uh, to size. I have to cut it to length, and that's just to bring a skill saw or, a, uh, or the chop saw. I'll just 
probably scrap the skill, skill saw and use that uh, tomorrow maybe. We'll see. Oh, look, the list of stuff to do. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Click clicky things. Uh, oh, the uh, the blades that are on sale at, at uh, the Princess Store, the Power Fist ones, are, they work fine. For ripping, anyways, they're 28 tooth one. Ripped a 2x4, no problem. Don't know how to do in hardwood, but. Ah, anyways, wash your hands, be nice to people, no hugs, you know the drill.